actually our first video other than our introduction. We have not really tragedy, but a great inconvenience on the farm. So we have a little market here where we do grocery pickups on Fridays and Saturdays. And one of the things that we sell is A2, A2 Jersey milk. So it's very important. Plus we have a calf right now that's on the bottle that consumes a lot of milk. So anyhow, the kid, this is the first year that we've had a milk machine. For 20 years we've milked by hand and, and we thought, you know what, we're gonna make life easier and we're gonna get a milk machine this year. And so anyhow, we got a used milk machine and it has been a headache, but we have just made it, made it work and um, today it's not working. <laughs> so um, I'm in the middle of making, um, egg noodles for the takeout meals and there's like how many eggs did it take Sam? 48. 40, 48 eggs like you can imagine the enormous pile of flour we have this big thing she's over she's chopping carrots because we sell like these individual organic tiny like thin sliced organic carrots anyway so she's doing that the kids come in the cow cannot be milked so we're off we milk the cow by Bye. hand <laughs> by hand and this particular cow we've never milked by hand so we'll see how she um, reacts to that and hope that the rest of the house does not burn down while the only two adults on the farm are in the milk barn <laughs> we'll keep you updated so we got out to the barn and there is a big mess which in all fairness so anybody who has decided that they want to homestead and they um, have children and so they're really excited about giving their children responsibility and they um, feel like it'll be much easier and doable when you have a lot of children you really need to understand some very important things children are people they're just little people and um, even the most incredible, amazing children, which I happen to think I have, <laughs> are kids. And they do not always want to do the jobs that they're supposed to be doing properly, which is why it is completely and totally our responsibility as the adults to go behind and to make sure that all of it is done. So if you think that you can just get yourself, um, you know, a little flock of chickens, a couple goats or something, and then... Um, have the kids do chores and go check every once in a while. It's not fair to the animals because all it takes is one afternoon of not being fed or watered properly. And um, the animals are really going to suffer and it can end up um, even causing death in worst case scenario. So um, just for everybody's, for the sake of everybody, go into an understanding that that is not going to happen. The other thing is that um, I went into the barn and I, we are broken into teams. Our family works into teams. And the team that's supposed to be cleaning the barn has not been um, doing that properly. So the barn looks like an explosion has taken place. <laughs> and so now, and this is normal, I'm telling you, this is like real life homesteading. When one thing goes wrong, a thousand things go wrong it's like you can't just have like a small little minor thing it's like if one thing goes then everything goes so anyway now there has to be uh barn cleaning along with repairs done um because the barn is just really it's pretty bad but anyway um we found the needle nose pliers and we found the flathead screwdriver and so we're going to see if it's possible to even get this milk machine running before we try hand milking. Wish us luck. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> the milk machine saga has continued. It is now um, <laughs> Friday and uh, today is the day that we have customers. <laughs> So I was up till 2 a.m. Um, making uh, handmade egg noodles um, for our takeout chicken and noodle soup on uh, on Saturday. And so I um, then woke up and had to um, bake 30, at least 30 loaves of sourdough. <laughs> anyway, in between baking that sourdough, I'm out here 
um, trying to, uh, we're getting ready to hand milk um, the cow again. So let me take you back to yesterday. Yesterday it was a disaster because the um, cow, who is normally super sweet and gentle and calm, had gotten really worked up because the they they cows are creatures of habit. So she's very used to the sound of the milk machine. She's used to going it at a certain time. She's used to certain like just routine. So anyway, she gets in this morning. She get, got in yesterday to be milked. The milk machine didn't work. The kids were, of course, you know, frantic because this is a really big deal and they take their responsibilities very seriously. She pooped all over the barn like n- nightmare. It was like pooparama. It was it was disgusting. It was everywhere. We had to power wash the barn to get it cleaned out. It was disgusting. <laughs> Anyhow, so then we hand milked, but because she was so spooked, she would not let her milk down and she was kicking like crazy. She normally doesn't kick. She's just usually a very sweet, gentle baby. So Anyhow, it ended up taking three of us to hand milk her because we ended up having to tie her legs so that she would not kick me in the head and kill me. And um, and so that was really traumatic for all of us because I, we didn't want to do that to her. I knew she was scared. But if we did not milk her out, then it was very dangerous for her because she could get mastitis, an infection in her udder. And our cows are disease-free and they have not had mastitis. And we take that very seriously. Um, so anyhow, she had to be milked out. Well, um, it took us, it took us like probably two hours to get her milked out, which normally it's a pretty quick job. It took us two hours and that was after the kids already tried the milk pump. I tried fixing it. There was no fixing it. It was completely trashed. So after we got her milked out and we got her situated, we put the calf on her to, to, um, get out any remaining milk in case we did not get her completely stripped out. And so he was a very happy guy. (laughs) And then, um, in the house we went and I tried to find a replacement pump. So anyway, all of the pumps, like the quickest delivery was uh, to the 25th, which is like a week uh, away. Um, my, uh, a couple of my older kids are going out of town like three hours away and they're going to be gone on the busiest portion of the week. And so anyhow, this was a bad time for this to happen. Um, so anyway, Uh, It's okay. It was ordered. I sent the guy a message. I ordered the pump off of... um off of eBay and I sent the gentleman a message and explained to him, you know, that we were in dire need quickly um, and um, and asked if he could expedite the shipping, which he was very, he was so kind. I cannot, it is really nice when you meet kind people, <laughs> even if it's over the internet through a transaction. <laughs> so anyhow, he quickly, he had it shipped out this morning. So we bought it last night. He had it shipped out this morning. So anyhow, um, we'll be really happy when that comes in. But today, um, it's hand milking again. And we're really hoping that um, starting off from the get-go with um, one of my older girls and I, um, bringing her in and just being super calm and patient with her, if perhaps we will um, maybe keep... Uh, the trauma down a little bit for all of us. Hopefully she'll just go in, she'll eat her food and we can milk her out really quickly and all will be well. We'll keep you updated and let you know. (laughs) Okay, finished milking the cow and it went much smoother than anticipated. She was calm and ready to be milked and since there hadn't been any um, trauma from a milk machine not working and nervous children because they didn't know what to do, she went right in and we were able to get her milked out in no time whatsoever at all while she enjoyed her grain and then just stood there waiting to be brushed out. So then ran inside, took a shower and got to baking and I'm ready to open to market right now. So that's how we do it around here. Crazy, dirty, messes, broken, but it always pulls through in the end. Thank you for following us. This is Becky at Mini Mosaic Acre. If you like what you see, then just click the like button down below and subscribe. We would love for you to follow along with us on this journey.